Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to record, mix, create and produce better music, click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, now let's go into the second part of pitch correcting vocals with Vary Audio in Cubase 9. Now, again, if you're using Cubase 8, 7, 6 or even 5, most of what I'm going to show you today will work since Vary Audio was uh, introduced, I think it was in version 5. Uh, when it was first introduced. So, no worries if you're not on Cubase 9, everything I'm going to show you here should work. Okay, now for tuning two or more tracks together, okay, in Vary Audio. Like in my session, what I have are two vocal tracks singing the same line. Okay, they're back vocals and they are both panned, one to the left and the other one to the right. And now what I want to do here is I want to make sure they are well tuned together and tight together. So I'm going to use Vary Audio to do so. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to select both segments that I want to work on today. Now, since I'm not going to work on the entire song and only on these two segments, I'm just going to bounce them directly in place, okay, by clicking on Audio and Bounce Selection and replace. So this way, uh, when it's going to be time to render the file to analyze uh, the pitch of both segments, Cubase is not going to analyze the entire track from the beginning of the song to the end. Cubase will only render that part that I just bounced. Okay, so uh, let's double click on these two selected segments. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that option here, which is the edit active audio event only, is not active. Okay. Uh, so this way, when I'm going to click on Pitch and Warp, uh, Cubase will render both selected segments. Okay, now what I have at the bottom, as you can see, I have both segments into blocks, okay? So I have one that is forward, which is in red, and the other one that is backwards, which is in green, okay? But they're both active. And if I uh, select this small option here, which is the Edit Active Audio Event Only, Okay, this will make sure that I can only edit on the forward uh, wave here, okay, the forward blocks, okay, uh, which are in red. Okay, so for, to give you the example, I'm just going to click on the S, so I'm going to solo whatever I'm hearing. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time, I'm getting tired of running. And you're only going to hear uh, whatever is in red, so in this case, it's the left vocal, okay, that you're going to hear. If I unselect this option, Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time. I'm going to hear all the blocks, you know, on both selected segments. Okay, so let's uh, listen to uh, this part of the song in context. Nothing is mixed. I always do my pitch correction before I hit the mixing stage. Out of my mind, it's breaking me down. Break down, see my walls start falling, I'm losing my time. I'm getting tired of running. Break down, see my walls start turning. It's breaking me down. Break down, see my walls start falling. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work on the first part only and I'm going to leave the second part alone. So this way we're going to be able to compare a kind of a before and after. Okay. So we will pitch correct the first part and then compare with the second part, which is the same line basically. Okay. So I'm double clicking and then pitch and warp. And let's take that first part and select all the blocks of that part. Now, by selecting all the blocks, everything that I'm going to do will be applied to both segments, okay? So, let's first start by bring the quantize to the max. So, I'm going to quantize everything. So, both segments, you know, the front segment and the back segment um, has been quantized. So, this will make uh, the editing a bit more easier. It's going to be a good start point and from that point, I'm going to be able to fix whatever needs to be fixed. So, I'm going to make sure all the blocks are well aligned together and uh, all on the same pitch. So, let's have a listen. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time, I'm getting tired of running. Okay, I'm just going to fix a few of these blocks. Break down, see my... Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time. All right, that's a bit off right here. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my... 
think this one needs to go up. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time. That's pretty cool. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing. Not really. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time, I'm getting tired. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time, I'm getting tired of running. Right now, see my walls start turning, I've been losing. Right now, see my walls stop turning, I've been Right now, see my walls stop turning, I've been losing my mind. Right now, see my walls stop turning, I've been losing my mind. I'm a bit less picky than I am when I pitch correct a lead vocal, okay? These are back vocals, they're doubled, so it's not that bad, you know, when you have that chorus, natural chorus effect going on. All the imperfections can create a very cool effect. Right now, see my walls stop turning, I've been losing my mind. Break Right now, see my walls stop. Right now, see my walls stop turning. I've been losing my mind. Now, a very cool stuff here is um, you can use the warp option and just to align both uh, blocks together. Right now, see my walls stop turning. I've been losing my mind. You can do that by dragging the edge of a block and align it to the other block. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's listen from the top. Break down, see my walls start falling, I've been losing my time, I'm getting tired of running. Right now, see my walls stop turning, I've been losing my mind. So it's not perfect, but pretty cool. So it gives you an idea on how that works. Now let's compare it to the second part of uh, the same line, the one that I did not pitch correct. Start falling, I've been losing my time, I'm getting tired of running. Right now, see my walls stop turning, I've been losing my mind. Break down, see my walls stop falling, I've been losing my time, I'm getting tired of running. Right now, see my huge difference. Okay, so let's listen to that in context. So very cool to work with. I love very audio and I love tuning several vocals together uh, using this option. Now, a few things I want to point out for you guys that I didn't mention on my last video, um, like this tool, for example, that I clicked on earlier, which is the solo editor. By clicking on it, uh, you're going to solo your selection. And then there's the acoustic feedback. Now, this is a pretty cool tool. When activated, what it does, it actually monitor the block you click on. Okay, so keep your finger on the mouse my mind. and you're going to monitor whatever is on the block. So it's pretty cool. Now, another thing you need to know is on every block, now at the bottom of the block, you'll see an X, okay, which means that you can mute that block, okay? So this could be very practical on uh, certain situations. Now, you need to know that very audio will work on monophonic signals only, okay? So they're not, it's not gonna work on a polyphonic signal like a, um, a guitar chord, for example, or a piano chord and stuff like that, you know, only on monophonic instruments, like a vocal, like a cello, a violin, a trumpet, a bass, and uh, instruments like that, okay? So that would actually be a very good feature for the future, you know, for Cubase to implement a polyphonic option within Very Audio. Like we see with the Melodyne, for example. Now, Melodyne has that option where you can, uh, you can actually um, fix a guitar chord, for example, and you know you, you see all the notes played on that chord, and you can pitch correct the uh, a specific note out of that chord, which is very interesting. Now it would be cool to have that in very audio, so maybe Steinberg will implement that in the future. I hope. Now, guys, this is it for today. I hope that helps, and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And don't forget to like and share. That helps the channel a lot. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. And until next time, see ya.